Everything's ready. We're good to go. We're gonna do this. Uh, I only have to hope that, uh, oh, just lower that resolution there. And we are back. All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's a bit late. It's like 844 over here. But the new part of the event came out, and I really want to do it. Because uh, yesterday, I, uh, I realized that the two days prior to this event, uh, we could get uh, fr uh, like free Primal Gems for doing quests. And who wouldn't want those primal gems, right? <laughs> so I don't want to miss out on today either. So let's go find. Some yeah, let's go find some some adventure, just like Benny says. All right, let's increase that volume. There we go. And then uh, controls. We'll do the normal switcher Rooney here controller. And then we'll head back. All right, let's get out of here. I'm Benny. We gotta get- Oh, I also found the last shrine! So we completed that part of the achievements. There was nothing special. There was like raw meat in there. I'm not sure how- how- how long that raw meat was in there for, so... It's kinda pretty gross. Like... <laughs> oh, you found raw meat! Like, ugh, I wouldn't want to find that in like an ancient uh, chest in a shrine. That sounds pretty disgusting, if you'd ask me. All right, let's see this. I'm also worried that we might need like some sort of event. Here we go, Star of Deceitful Dreams. Oh no, let's go to quest. So I'm pretty sure this one opens up like an entirely, entirely different gameplay mechanic right now. Benny. So we're no longer, oh, I'm right there. We're, we're no longer uh, just, ooh. Oh, look at that sc scaffolding, no these bits on this attic what the heck the roof sorry gee oh no fish is here oh i don't like talking to fish the giraffe hello what are you thinking giraffe how are things in the village now H how are things in the village ah it's you again <laughs> a little uh, better thanks oh, and we owe it all to you uh, thanks. Oh, I tried my best to collect all the meteorites. That's great. Seems like getting rid of the meteorites is doing the trick. <laughs> Danches is so happy right now. <laughs> this is the most happiest I've seen him. Traveler, your arrival is most fortuitous. Clearly, my noble ambition to protect the souls of this wretched world compelled you to seek me once more. Now, Prepare to depart, for we are soon to meet with an envoy of mine further afield. <sighs> okay, fish. Envoy? You mean a, a diplomat or something? Ah, yes. Let me fill you in here. Someone brought a message from the Dawn Winery saying that a lady oh. there by the name of Adeline invites Adeline. Me with her as honored guests of the winery. Man, I really love their choice in names. They're, they're names that are not commonly used in the real world. <laughs> uh, these guys know me. I love those types of names. They're like the most underdog names, too. Oh, we know Adeline. She's the head housemaid there, right? Yes, she is. We went over there and visited with Diluc. Ah, it seems that you and Adeline are already acquainted, then. Oh, not that much, though. Then, it is my great honor to join you. <laughs> okay, Oz. Hey, so, can you really understand that princess when she's talking? Because Paimon can't seem to understand a single word. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, I think I understand what she means, but... Yeah, that's kind of it. All right, all right. It's, 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 I don't know, it's, she, she likes old Victorian, uh, what, what's it called? I was gonna say lingerie, but I'm pretty sure that's not it. Uh, speech, right? I think that's My the word. My dear friends, it is time to move out. 
All right, Oz, let's get out of here. hopes Adeline has made some tasty snacks to welcome her honored guests with. Paimon, you want snacks? All right. Let's get going then. Ooh, I didn't see those stairs there. That would have been the end. Just walking off and then uh, suddenly fall down a couple flight of stairs. Oh. Oh. Ah, I thought I was about to sneeze. And the feeling is lingering there too, like it's not the best feeling. <clears throat> oh no, Benny. Okay. Oh sure. All right, let's get up here. It's over there, right? Oh yeah, okay. Uh, oh, we also have to use up our... Hmm, what's it called? The music changed. What the heck? Ooh, spooky. It's because we're near the winery? It's not till for a couple... It's a couple meters away, though. The sun is so bright. Transport goods. Ow. Okay, Dr. Livingstone. Adventure time. Oh, whoa. Like, and our terminal velocity just like went down. Like, whoop. Together her quest. Could you give this to Dr. Edith for me? I was planning to deliver it myself, but something else came up. I'll handle it. Luckily, I have you to help. I'm very grateful. Sure, I'll take the package. Alright. But we're not gonna head over there yet. Love when you get close to, uh... Where the heck did it go? The crisis deepens. There we go. Adventure time. When you get close to the winery, it gets all more like, uh... What do you call it? Acoustic. Is that a book? <gasps> oh, book. All right. Where are we going? Oh, there she is. It's just completely missed her. Adeline, how's it going? Welcome to the Dawn Winery, dear adventurers. I'm Adeline, the head housemaid. And it is I who invited you all here. Are you a, a knockoff of, uh, Catherine? Or do you... I, it's, it's so weird. It's like she's everywhere. Thanks for the invite. You are Adeline? <laughs> Splendid. I am delighted to grant you the honor of joining me for afternoon tea. Oh, but fish! Dearest Adeline... On behalf of Her Majesty, Miss Fischl, the Princessin de Varotalong, and I, mine Fräulein's humble servant, thank you for inviting us. Uh, Fish, if it wasn't for Oz, I swear she'd be scowled. <laughs> Is that it? <sighs> Would you cut to the chase already? Your titles are so wordy it takes way too long to introduce yourselves. <laughs> My goodness. <clears throat> An adventurer of such distinguished status. Oh, no, Adeline is... <laughs> I can't tell if she's mocking them or... <laughs> she's amusing them. My pale-faced proselyte. How dare you interrupt the diplomat of the royal court in the middle of his speech? Fish. Um, so thanks for inviting us over for tea. In fact, one of our employees here at the Dawn Winery... A Mr. Hartman 
fell victim to the meteorite incident in Springvale. Mr. Hartman, no! That's Guy's father! I hear that you were the ones who disposed of the meteorites. Thanks to you, Mr. Oh, Hartman geez. is now awake. Okay, he's okay then. We are in your debt. It is merely common courtesy that I should invite you over for tea. This aside, there is a separate matter which I should like to enlist your help with. Sure, Adeline. Look, look, I don't want I don't want anyone in trouble. Aw, you're too kind, Adeline. We're really just doing what any other adventurers would have done. And a bit more, Paimon. Just include that one. And a bit more. You may now kneel before your princessin and make effusive display of your thanks for the favor that I have generously shown to thee in thy winery ken. <sighs> Take heart, my dear servants, for the glory of my majesty will flash eternal in the Vale of Springdom. Where is the Vale of Springdom? Flash eternal? Isn't that a bit of an oxymoron? Oz, hold off on the translation. Paimon wants to have a try this time. Um, so what she's trying to say is, <laughs> you're welcome? <laughs> nice. I applaud your powers of comprehension, my dear Paimon. Whoa. You decipher mine Fräulein's royal utterances with remarkable ease. I, s I swear, Oz sounds like El, El Papillon. What is it that you need of our help with? I'm starting to- <laughs> I'm gonna start talking like fish sooner or later. What is it that you need our help with? The business of the winery reaches not only to all of Mondstadt, but to all the corners of Lua, too. Not fish, Some of our workers do regular deliveries back and forth between the two regions, a single round trip taking several days in total. Right, right. Two of our delivery staff were due back yesterday, but as of this moment, I still have no contact from them at all. I worry that they became trapped somewhere when the meteorites struck. Oh, no. The winery is short-staffed at present, and I cannot afford to look for them myself. As audacious as it may be, all I can do is ask you for assistance. All right, Adeline. Okay, Don't worry okay. about it. Don't you worry, Adeline. We're expert people finders. Yeah, actually, I do have a quest to find uh, a Dr. Livingstone. Or not Dr. Livingstone, that's who we want to... Well, I'm a terrible people finder, apparently. Oh, wonderful. I suggest you begin by asking around at Stonegate. All delivery staff pass through there on their return from Liwa. Okay, jeez. Okay, so Stonegate, we know where that is now. Two in total, and the workers' names are Fritz and Ben. Fritz? Fritz and Ben? Oh. Alright, don't you worry. We'll find them. Alright, Oz. Let's go. Oh, there's another quest here, though. Uh, let's not grab it. Well, I'll, uh, actually, I'll mark it here. Oh, where? I can't tell where it is. Where is it? That's Ernest. Oh, I marked up here as a respawnable chest, but but chests don't respawn, actually. I know that now, so I'm gonna start taking these out. They they look they seem to respawn. But in actuality... Oh, it's Adeline again. Alright, hold on. Yeah, so we won't activate this quest. I'm just gonna set a quest marker here. When we come back. Alright, where the heck? Head over here. I think we have a teleport waypoint right there. Alright. Elemental reaction. Heavy attacks can break the frozen effect and unfreeze the affected being. The shattering ice deals damage in process, however. To know. Oh! Off we go! Oh, shoo. Hello! Um, 
we're looking for two Mondstadt cards, both loaded up with wine. Have you seen them? Hmm. Sorry, I don't think so. Really? Okay then, we'll keep asking around. Alright, so how sure didn't see anyone. Gramps? Oh, Pops. Pops, have you... Oh, hold on. Okay. Pops, have you seen anyone? Hello! Have you seen any Mondstadt merchants <laughs> traveling through here? Look. You know, the ones with all the wine. I almost look like uh, Pops got scared of Paimon for, for a sec. Ah. Oh. I am afraid I have very poor eyesight. I'm not the right person to ask. No oh boy. Oh, okay then. All right, Pops. But he does serve the finest of teas. I'm just gonna take uh, all your supplies here. You don't need them for the tea, right? This too. Ooh. Okay, right, so. Gran doesn't know anything over here. Oh, oh! Did not see this guy. Hello. We're looking for a couple of cards originally from Mondstadt. Have you seen them? From Mondstadt, you say? You know, I think I did see one pass through here. Oh. Really? Which way did it go? Let me think. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was going towards Mondstadt. All right, so they passed Stone Gate at least. Thanks, Mister. Now to chase down that cart. All right. Good thing they're not passing through Leeway because it's just a humongous, a humongous area. So most of the carts over here like end up destroyed through this pass. So it wouldn't be. Oh, I think it's coming back. Uh... <laughs> Uh, thank you, Angie. All right. Now that that's out of the way. Adventure time. Get some mint here. Hmm. Oh, lizard! Where'd it go? It's gone. Okay. I see that chest. Also, I see this. We'll, uh, we'll leave Gerard alone. All right. Ooh, sugar. Ooh. I Adventure do not like these. Uh, what are they? Hopkins or something? Upper flowers. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, no. Oh, not what I wanted. All right. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. All right, let's get out of here. Well, oh, make it to the. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Nah, there's just two. Come on. Ow, how they reach over there? Everybody stand back. There we go. Okay, let's get that guy out of there. Oh no! I think we can take a beating anyway though.
There we go. Phew. The mushroom. Me half to death. Thanks so much. If you hadn't happened to be passing through this way, I would have been a goner man, for sure. Man dressed as a worker? What happened to his nose? <laughs> no. <laughs> we were too late. So, which one are you? Ben or Fritz? Huh? Uh, I'm Ben. How did you know my name? Uh, we're officially your official search party. Per Adeline's wishes, we came here specifically to find you and ensure your well-being. Ah, Thank you, Oz. I suppose she must have started worrying because of the long delay. Uh, well, I mean, you are far away, though. I'm afraid that Fritz's cart is stranded out on the main road between Dihua Marsh and Stone Gate. It got hit by a meteorite, so... Oh, jeez. Straight away? <laughs> anyway, we agreed that I'd finish the delivery and then bring someone back to fetch him. I just hadn't factored in the part about getting ambushed by monsters along the way. All right. Well, let's see if Fritz didn't touch the meteorite. I really meteorite. hope Fritz is okay. With me getting delayed here, the poor guy's been out there a long time. Now, I keep worrying that the same thing will have happened to him. Can you guys go bring him to safety? Of course. Between Stonegate and Dihua Marsh, right? Leave it to us. Nice. All right. Let me just take that. I'll take uh, these berries. There we go. And what is that? Oh, that was a puzzle. Can't break these, right? No. All right. So, what do you say the uh, stone game in Dew Marsh? So, we'll start heading down that way, I guess. We're close by, but I'll just teleport for quicker, tra quicker travel. Looks like it's over there then. Since it's over there, might as well teleport to the statue. You know, I didn't think it was it was gonna pinpoint where oh pinpoint where he was exactly, so the game's helping us out out a little bit. It's like, look, I know, I know, I made you look for meteorites back then, so I won't make you look for these guys. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I see that. Uh, excuse me. Let me through. I see that too. Oh, jeez. Thing. Everybody do this. Do that. I see that there's like two treasure chests over there. Let's just knock this guy out. Oh, okay. Hmm, a common chest. And a, a precious chest. Ooh, that's what we need. There you go. Alright. Not 
thing. Okay. It's a bit of a waste, but to be honest, we weren't gonna use it that Lead much. Lead away, my pale-faced proselyte. For a sharp pain now afflicts mine ogd of earth. Oh, who's that? Is the guy on the floor sleeping? I I hope. I'm pretty sure he is. I believe so. I've tried everything, but he won't wake up. Who is this guy? He is so out of place. Look at this guy. Oh, actually, I don't. What is that so guy? <laughs> what does he have? Does he have like a blade on his hat? Like he like spins the hat around and like spinning blade. <laughs> Looks like he touched the meteorite, just like the others. Why isn't he like in a comfortable position? They just left him there. If by meteorite you mean the rock that struck the cart, worry not. I have dealt with that already using my magic. All right, good. But by others, do you mean to say there are others who have fallen into a similar slumber? Yes, they have, actually. One has witnessed with one's own Ogd of Ertalung the nightmarish slumber that proceeds forth from the Valley of Demon Bone. It has caused great suffering for the humble peasants in the Vale of Springdom, many of whom still battle this wretched affliction even as we speak. As Main Fräulein most eloquently describes, we have just come from Mondstadt, gotcha. where many people have also fallen into an unwaking sleep. Their symptoms are identical to those of this poor gentleman here. Is that so? It appears these meteorites really made quite an impact. You could also say a Genjin impact. <laughs> eh? Seems this guy is <laughs> Got him. Like <laughs> That's a good order. joke. And we've already met oh, no one left. So this one must be Fritz. Of course, yeah. Given that worker's attire has precious few distinguishing features, I must conclude that Paimon is blessed with exceptionally acute eyesight. <laughs> yes, she is very observative. Actually, Paimon's eyesight is normal. Paimon just has a really great memory. You're right, though. His clothes don't really stand out that much. Especially not compared to this guy over here. Uh, yeah, he's way out of place. <laughs> and by this guy over here, you mean me. Oh, he is adorable. <laughs> yep. Paimon's never seen anyone dressed quite like you before. Yeah, what are... Are you wearing socks? You should be wearing shoes, my, shoes, my dude. The huge head is quite unique. I am a vagrant from Inazuma. I had just stopped to assist this poor gentleman when you turned up. Inazuma? Where is that? <laughs> that guy over there. That guy did not... He didn't leave post at all to see what happened to this guy. Look at him dance around. Come on. Come all. Come. <laughs> come one. Come all. What is he selling over there? Must be selling those mooncakes I, I, I've heard about. Jeez. Look at him go. Look, that guy did not leave his post to go see what happened to this guy over here. <laughs> He's so busy. There's no one around. Who's he yelling to? Are you investigating the aftermath of the meteorite strike? Yes, I am. Yeah, we were sent to help out. I am Fischl, Prinzessin de the Ertelung, responding to the cry of my people in their hour of need. Fish, no one asked that. <laughs> no one asked. I am Main Fräulein's humble familiar, Oz the Raven. <sighs> and Paimon is an honorary knight of the Knights of Havonius's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> she uses she uses the title of Dances, jeez. Oh? 
then you must be said honorary knight of said knights of Favonius. Yes, yes, that is quite right. Uh, but I am an adventurer of the guild. Behold my people, your beloved sovereign in the flesh. Do not despair, for judgment by thundering retribution is nigh. And it shall surely purge the seeds of nefarious nightmares that now sow chaos across the land. There is a color selection tool? What is it? Is it the magic wand? Oh, okay. Gotcha. No, it only one specific one? It's gonna help a lot. Nice. All right. Um, excuse me? <laughs> oh, no. Don't mind her. Just, you know, let her do her thing. Uh, yes. Uh, she's a good egg, really. Excuse me. What's going on here? Uh, oh, no, now you <laughs> see. Oh, great. Suddenly he decides that it's the best time. Lilith. This guy's fast asleep and he won't wake up. Ah, it appears this is now in the hands of the Millilith. In which case, I am no longer needed. It was truly a pleasure to meet you all. I have other matters to attend to now, so I shall take my leave. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So... And you were just yelling. Yeah, and I was about to put like something like. Cheese. You... Adventures, I wish you every success in your endeavors. Wait, hold on. <laughs> He's not even gonna tell who, us who he is. Bye bye. No, oh, Pipe. Uh... So what happened was, we came here looking for someone, and found them. Oh, it trolled off. Thank you all for your cooperation. This victim is now in the care of the Millilith, and we will escort him safely to the Disaster Relief Station. Oh! Disaster Relief Station? You mean like a big tent with guards outside? Correct. We have established a Disaster Relief Station at Wangshu Inn, where the unconscious victims of the meteorite strike can receive due medical attention. Alright. Way to go, I guess. A wise decision by the Millilith. Paimon can't stop worrying about poor Fritz. We should really go check up on him. <sighs> I suppose I shall deign to join you for one further excursion. Oh boy, Fish, you don't have to come along. Alright, where is this? Eric. But, no, 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 I don't, I don't like that guy. What do we have here? That, and let's take this. And I, th I guess that's it. Set up. Uh... Hello? Got him. All right. <laughs> what is what is Gerard doing now? He is practicing the ways of archery. Oh yeah, he is. That's pretty interesting. All right, we'll leave him there. Adventure time. Oh, it's set in one shoe in. I can see what the big deal is. And now my life's in the spotlight again. Oh boy. Let's not uh bother those two. Oh, look like these two. <clears throat> is there more here? Oh, there are. Alright. Uh oh, looks like there's a quest there. Off we go! Let me mark this on the map. Probably get over here.
as well. Hmm. All right. Adventure time. Hey, where, where's Fritz? <clears throat> yep. Same situation as in Springvale. It's almost as if they share the same tents. This cruel curse of cold spreads without mercy. Oh, heaven on high, tell us how we have angered you so. Oh, no. Now she's asking the gods. Keep your voice down. There are a lot of people here. Oh, boy. <laughs> Might I suggest we make some inquiries and see where it takes us? All right, sure. Uh, uh back here. Hey, Chain, what do you have? Halt! Who are you? I am all the greatest traveler there is, here to uh, ponder on what has, ha what has happened to this victim. We've been commissioned by the Adventurers Guild to investigate the meteorite strike. Do you mind if we take a quick look at this victim? I see. Very well, Adventurers. You may take a look. But we just talked to you, right? That's He shows no signs of waking. Paimon wonders what he's dreaming about. Hmm. Probably that one about the mountain and the ice and snow. Fritz does not appear to be here. Let us keep looking. Hengxing, what, what you do to Fritz? Is he somewhere else? Oh, let me get this mint. No, the, the mint! Victim. His soul is in anguish. Ensnared by a thousand thorns. Oh, his suffering is pitiable. May he soon know peace at last. What he? Aren't they? Aren't they both? Both? Both girls? Peace at last. Um. Surely you don't mean. Fish. Main Fräulein simply wishes him a speedy recovery. Beyond this. There is no hidden meaning to her words. I hope not, jeez. Come on, Fritz. Where are you? Wait, does she think, does she think Fritz is not here? Look at this. Boop, boop. Another sleeper. Where's Fritz? Most unfortunate. Crucified to a cruel cross of calamity by barbaric blades born of some baleful blasphemy. I think now she's just making up way, uh, words. Gotta find a way to wake everyone up. There is but one means of awakening those who slumber. And that is to rain down thundering retribution. <laughs> Said her thing. Thundering retribution? Precisely, main Fräulein. If we dispose of the meteorites, the sleepers will be sure to wake. This is so weird. That Millilith guy promised he was gonna bring Fritz here, didn't he? So why can't we find him anywhere? It's amazing how little she can. All right. Mm. Let's go see what the innkeeper has to say. Oh, maybe he's in the inn. In the inn. I mean, there is an inn. Oh, 
I see that. Where might might this geoculus be? E -e -e. I got uh oh. Ooh, no, Benny, no. I am not gonna let Benny die <laughs> in the water. All right, let's see. Let's mark this place too. There. All right. Yep. And keeper. What's his name? Hugh. Huai An. Excuse us. Have you seen anyone come in that looks like an ordinary worker from Monster? Uh, the Millilith arrived with several new victims not long ago. Due to the limited capacity in the tent, I had to place the new arrivals in the upstairs guest rooms. Oh, okay, so we might find them there. Okay, well, could you give him a message when he wakes up? Tell him he needs to get back to the Dawn Winery as soon as possible, and let Adeline know that he's safe and sound. All right. Uh, I will be more than happy to. And if I may be so bold, adventurers, I too have a request for you. What is it? What Please do you need? Please tell us, what is troubling you? <laughs> Oz is worried too. Pray tell of thy troubles, that one might better understand them. I understand from the mill of the soldiers that you are investigating the meteorite strike. Yes, we are. This made me you. wonder. Perhaps my him. friends from Mondstadt have already Why? found a means of curing blue. the victims. He have a mustache. Um, I don't know, dude. From what we've like seen so guy? far, all you need to do is get rid of the meteorites and the sleepers way back up again. I guess so, Paima. Is that so? Then, if I understand you correctly, the meteorites are the cause of the victim's unconsciousness? Yes. Yep. In that case, I would like to enlist your services in that regard. Do you think you can dispose of the meteorites in the vicinity of the inn? Yeah, if we can find them, we can get rid of them, yeah. Oh, wonderful. You have my gratitude. All right. Looks like there's one right over here. Oh, what was this? this? What is this? Oh! Way too fast. No! <laughs> Oh, jeez. There we go. Ah, I thought we might have been able to do that. Oh, did they respawn? Oh, I'll take them. 
Okay, looks like there's one over there then. I mean, if it's like pinpoint. Whoa, what is that? That's way too big. What is that? This meteorite is way bigger than the others. All right. Off we go. Yeah, it's way too big. What do we salvage? Salvaging meteorites, you must first defeat the opponents in the vicinity. Wait, I'm getting hit! <laughs> no! What the heck? Ow! here and we'll set him on fire again and quickly oh. and then oh. well, it's a it's cold ow all right almost done here Oh, there's still more. All right, then we'll do one of these. Think you can get away? Let's play. Well, you ran into that one. Let's play. There we go. Please. <laughs> nice. I'll just get him. Rest for the wicked. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No worries that the bigger the meteorite, the more powerful it is. Let's see if there's any more bits left. Sure. That was actually pretty fun. Look for the next objective in the area. Here oh, we go. We have that too. Hold on. I see that there's a chest. There it is. Alright, so let's get that chest first, though. Lest I forget. That be the chest. There we go. Oh, it's electric now. Wait, these are the Fatui? Oh. Oh! One of these. One of these. Oh no. Okay, one of these. Oh, that's not good. Oh, get out the way. Ow. There you go. Ah. Uh, get him out of here. Whoa. Looks like I went too far. Oh, wait a second. Ah. You can't run. Ooh. I must leave no stone to throw you. Let's end this quickly. Don't be a joy. Okay. This is trouble. Let's get them back in here. By royal decree. I'll shoot him. <laughs> I don't like the step forward they take. Oh. There you go. Ow. Do one of these. There you go. Oh, so they're electrified. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Doesn't do anything to them. Oh, jeez. Ow. Adventure time. These guys are pretty hard. There we go. Another one. Oh, no, let's get him before he does that. Stay right 
Yeah. Okay. Let's get this guy done. Oh, we got him. Let's end this quickly. Get out of here. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. One, two. Got him. Whoop. Adventure time. Oh. Whew. Okay. This doesn't end here. Oh, just nearby. You'll get what's coming to you soon enough. Whoa, they talk. So the well, apart from them like screaming at us at well, they fight, right? Even the harbingers? Harbingers? This is too strange. We need to be extra cautious. We're okay, by mine. I think we'll do fine. The seeds of nefarious nightmares appear to have taken firm root. Though my magic arrow of midnight purges them in an instant, they return with a vengeance. <sighs> <laughs> She's mad. <laughs> it would make a mockery of the majesty of the Princessin de Verurtalung. Der... Ver... What? Verurtalung? Indeed, main Fräulein. Despite our best efforts to dispose of the meteorites, they continue to fall relentlessly in each corner of your vast domain. In which case, I fear. Oz, oh, so what do you fear? The strikes are happening faster than we can get rid of them. We need to find another solution then. I, Fischl von Luftschloss Nofedort, have traversed a thousand worlds. And yet never before have I faced such a formidable foe. Okay, fish. This menace is neither monster nor magic. It is a curse, I say. A curse has been placed upon the mortal realm. All right. A curse? Paimon, don't follow along. Such a foul curse could only arise as a consequence of the continuous cries of unanswered longing. Lost amidst the unpredictability and impermanence of fate. How very tragic. Is this the inevitable fate of mankind? It grieves me greatly, no matter how many times I hear of it. Oz, jeez. Paimon didn't quite get the part about the thing being lost inside the other thing, but basically, these meteorites are a curse? Oh. Were they not a curse upon humanity, why then should they send humans into slumber? <sighs> to be lost twixt life and death in an unending dream, Tis the most dreadful fate imaginable for any living being. Oh, I mean, she does have a point, though. Could what officials say really be true? The nightmares are affecting the sleepers. Is it really a curse? We'll go with that we one. We must underestimate the magnitude of this matter no more. I fear this sinister force can withstand even the sum of all of our powers combined. Oh. Traveler. Fetch me the one fated to face this fearsome foe. The one? And who might that be? I swear she says herself. Main Fräulein is of the opinion that one with the requisite expertise should be summoned to deal with this matter. She wonders if you know of any person skilled in the undoing of curses? Uh, I mean, we could always talk to Lisa. If that's the case. I'm not sure who else would... We might have not done a story quest then, if that's the case either. I'm not sure. Um, um, not Lisa then? Uh, I mean... Paimon can't think of anybody either. Maybe we should just go ask Catherine. Oh, Catherine is a vast... Knowledgeable, knowledgeable being, so... Uh, she'll have a way. Right. Oh, what was that? Oh, okay. 
Our vision like was shining for a couple. Ooh. I will take those. That's for me. All right. Oh, whoa, that's all the way over there. Okay, I was gonna walk, but might, might as well use the teleport points. Hello. Alright. Actually, then he has to use the little boy's room. You know what it's called? Oh no, stop! Uh, that's because I ate- I, I drank too much hot chocolate. Oh boy. I'll put the- Let's go find some treasure! BRB here. I have come, come from beyond, the beyond realm. You refuse? I'm back. Oh, Nick came on. The heck? I thought I missed a stream. <laughs> oh yeah, it kind of looked that way. Well, I have to get a better ending, ending, uh, ending theme though. Here we go. Yay, Amelia. Oh, hold on. Boop. There we go. And I was sitting here like, oh man, <laughs> watching in fear. <laughs> oh no, Nick thought like the stream was ending because I put the BRB. All right, look, we're back. Just when, like, it, it only took two minutes, I, I think, right? <laughs> All right, look, Nick, we're completing this quest because uh, after this, I feel like we can take a short, uh, break from Genjin uh, after this event um, what's it called well, after this one because this one came out today there's like six days for the error. next error Catherine you heard that right Nick she yelled error ah uh, Catherine is so weird Catherine the hour of destiny is upon you I have invoked the sacred covenant between us. <laughs> Twitch and didn't now give you, you notification. To the oh call. no. I uh, must respond to the call. Hmm. Let me see. Are you saying you require an assistant? Yes. Whoa. She got it in one. Catherine must be super smart. Uh, she's a robot, though. I swear she's a robot. Catherine's a robot. Know anyone with expertise in curses or dark magic? Unfortunately not. Though I do know of an astrologist. Oh! Oh, I think I know- I might know who she's talking about. As it happens, the traveling astrologist Mona is currently in Mondstadt. Do you know her? Well, I would if I had her in a poll, but no, I don't. <laughs> don't think so. Never mind. Please wait here a moment. I will see if she is available. What, is she inside? We get to meet a real-life astrologist? Paimon's so excited! Oh, I'm gonna get him, too. 
What tart? Yeah, tart. Yeah. Tart's other name? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Getting him. I'm like, the first, like, what? Really? Yeah, and I'm just like. <laughs> Are you gonna try? I am manifesting. <laughs> I'm gonna get him. Oh, I'm hope. definitely gonna get him. Um, oh, did you see the drawings on Discord? Hopefully they are not that bad. I have improved since my middle school days. Yeah, I did see them. They're pretty good. Uh, what? Oh! There we go. <laughs> Explodes. <laughs> Say hello to Angie for me. So next says hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> there she. There you go. Well, Paimon's excited. <laughs> the traveler's like, I don't know about Paimon being excited. Catherine, you seem frantic. What's the matter? What? Rarity? What are you doing here? Mona, I'd like to introduce you to some adventurers from the guild. They've run into some problems and we're hoping that you, with your astrological abilities, may be able to resolve them. Cat is a robot, I swear. Where are they now? Good call. Oh. I'm pleasantly surprised that they've heard of the astrologist of the century. I swear, Mona, if you're just another fish, this is gonna be insanely. Oh, also, I finished the steampunk drawing with my OC. Let me show you on Discord. All right. Um, you and fish. So, you Jeez. must be the one who needed my help. Hello. Come on then. Give me the lowdown. I may be willing to offer my skills. It all depends on the situation. What? You know what, Mona? The I'm not sure I like that an tone. ancient and mysterious art. If your problem is a banal one, you can count me out, as I have better things to do. Uh, you know what? Fish knows how to, how to color this of plenty, so... So, here's what's happened. I'm on Phil's Mona in. And all, right. all of this was caused by the meteor shower. This I was not expecting. Mona, did you have anything to do with it? The darkness consumes every corner of the land. And in the fading twilight, only the princessin and her retinue still stand. Her retinue. <laughs> Ms. Mona, your means are most crucial to our ends. Huh? Are you all together, then? Yes, we are. I am Fischl von Luftschloss Nofodot, Prinzessin Dörfer Ertelang, and I hereby extend to you the great honor of joining my retinue. Prinzessin Dörfer Ertelang? <laughs> I'm sorry, which nation are you a princess of? Oh, Mona, no, don't, don't. I hail from a distant and long-lost land known as the Imanachai. The in my what, Reich? <laughs> in my what, Reich? <sighs> Alas, precious few mere mortals know of the Imanachai. Uh, uh... Oh, mere mortal? Do you have any idea who you're talking to? Uh oh I am a highly accomplished astrologist, thank you very much. I knew it, it's gonna happen. Just give Ever me one to fight. second with my scry glass. Scry glass? Where exactly this homeland of yours features in your personal history. Oh, I didn't know that existed. It is Mona. I humbly beseech you to refrain from probing the question of Main Fräulein's homeland. Revisiting the tragic tale of that world's demise always causes her much anguish. No oh boy. Surely a wise mage such as yourself can sympathize with a princess's grief for her lost kingdom. I swear Oz is just it's just like the guardian of fish. <laughs> fish equal Mona? Blessing mumbling noise. <laughs> no, but... Uh, uh, sorry to interrupt, but work is our priority right now, actually. <laughs> yes, you're quite right. So, the goal here is to get all the sleepers to wake up. Am I right? Yes, they really need help. You can't just leave them like this. Understood. 
All right then, don't you worry. I will lend you a hand. Mm, thank, thank you, Rarity. And you can go back to my little pony afterwards, though. First things first, though. We need to get out of the city. There's too much magical disturbance here. Let's head somewhere where the ley line flow is a little smoother. The ley line flow? You know about those stuff? Oh, there you go. Designated scrying location. And I hope we get Mona on one of the poles. Because I've read that she has... I think scrying is what she... Like, her and Chungyun, I, I, I believe they do almost the same thing in their, like, idle animation. Uh, Chungyun tries to do some sort of scrying as well, right? But it's weird because he pulls out a couple of cards, I believe. I'm not sure what he's actually doing. And I believe Mona also does uh, scrying in the air Adventure as well. Time. It's also strange that Mona herself is a water elemental and not lightning. She, w she it wouldn't appear it wouldn't appear like that. Yeah, let's just keep going. Get this one. Two, three. Oh! Got him! There we go. What the heck was that? Oh, that's me. Fish, <laughs> I am highly respected princess. Respect me, mere mortal. Mona. Oi, who are you calling a mortal? <laughs> I'm gonna search your personal history and find your homeland. Fish, oi, how dare you mention my homeland, said face. If they fight, they will rip the universe in half by constantly flexing. Jeez, exactly. I don't know, but fish isn't like... Is fish telling the truth? I, I'd like if fish were actually from a different, like, land. Uh, far away and then she was like taken in by some some person as she <laughs> that looks like her parent right that'd be pretty uh, like a pretty fun story we go. wide open space clear sky all right this will do nicely i will now begin the process of hydromancy Stay back, and do not impede my vision. Is this like, is this whole, like, um, concept, like, water has memory? Is this why she's using water? Oh, here she goes. Oh! Whatever it was you just did, it looked awesome! <laughs> what? World was oh. Oh, I got oh boy. What happened? Your feral ways? What the heck are you talking about? I don't know, it's like... It's like the Kanash Corp era. Oh boy. Oh, Astral Emissary, have thine eyes now discerned the secrets of the stars? Have they? Oh, now Fish is asking questions. Yeah, what did you find out? How strange. I've never seen this before. I was just gonna keep it to yourself then. The divination shows that these meteorites came from someone's constellation. Whoa, really? That's... that is strange. Constellation? But they don't have anything to do with real astrology, do they? Wait, does everyone have their constellation? Like, is it... <laughs> is it specific, specifically assigned to them, then? That's what most people tend to think. But I've studied astrology for a very long time, and I know a few things about them that you might not. Okay, Mona. Stop flexing. The stars that make up a constellation, the Stella Fortuna, 
are genuine celestial bodies in the depths of space. They are not simply notional. Oh. The strange thing is that they turned to meteors all of a sudden and fell from the sky. Why this happened, I am not yet sure. I need some time. So we're collecting someone's constellation. A curse! A wretched curse, I say. It could be, honestly. A curse? <laughs> I, too, have journeyed to the stars, gazed beyond the veil of darkness, and <clears throat> a shred of the truth. <laughs> Bye, there, Ma. I saw a world cursed by human malice. Uh, that has to be the, th <laughs> the thumbnail. Uh, it, uh, it's like 110. One minute and ten. All right. Only one who died the most agonizing of deaths could leave behind such a vengeful spirit. Whoa! We must interrogate the population. Find the doer of this diabolical deed. The one who created this sinister specter is the true killer. Sorry, I'm not quite following you. What curse and what killer? Uh-oh. Uh, don't take every word she says <laughs> the too trouble. literally. What's going on here? Why are the Traveler and Paimon frantically winking at me? <laughs> we can hear her thoughts. Uh, official is full of, uh... uh say mysteries. Oh. Oh, I understand. Okay. Thou dost? Marvelous! Uh, the astral no. emissary understands at last. Mutual understanding is the crucial first step towards effective teamwork. Welcome to the team, Mona. Oh, Oz! Gee, the wink, Oz. You are hereby appointed as an honored servant of the Princessin. Unleash thy power in service of our solemn duty to dispel this darkness once and for all. Honored? <laughs> You should feel honored to have found me. Without me, you'd be doing ten times the work for half the results. Oh. <laughs> Paimon likes you, Mona. You seem like the real deal. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I'm glad you agree. Feel free to keep the compliments coming. Okay, jeez. With my astrolabe, I have ascertained the trajectory of fate. Next, I'll calculate the locations of the fallen meteorites for you. I need to look into the constellation issue in more detail. In the meantime, let me know ASAP if you find anything else out. All right, you're a star. You're a star, Mona. Thanks so much. Don't worry about it. As far as the astrological aspect goes, this will be a piece of cake. Uh, Nick, if you want to send it to Angie, send it to her, yeah. Oh, quest complete. Oh, we can continue. There we go. All right. Oh, four days now. Jeez. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I, I get it. So, like, the first five, and then there's about 30 of them to do. Okay. Oh, jeez. That's a lot. Wait, that's 30 times... What is that? Six? One, two, six. Yeah. Which would that be then? That's uh, eighteen. All right. I cannot believe I can't do this in my head. Angie, what's uh? 30 times 6. 80, right? Okay. I got so confused. I was like, I thought this was going to be more than 180. Funny enough, I kind of looked at this online. Oh! That's why I'm a bit confused. Okay, so thankfully, Mona has been able to pinpoint the destinations of falling meteorites. Interact with meteorite. Uh, meteorite remains at the landing site to salvage them. 
Uh, when salvaging meteorites, you must first defeat the opponents in the vicinity of the meteorite's remain to advance your salvage progress. Stray too far from the meteorite's remains and your salvage progress will decrease. If you do not reach max salvage progress within the time limit, salvaging will fail. Meteorite remains emit concentrated elemental energy that strengthens surrounding opponents. If you use elemental attacks to create reactions that will remove the elemental enhancements, benefiting the monsters, defeating them. Oh, benefiting the monsters, defeating them, and salva salvaging the meteorite remains will be much easier. All right. So that's that. Let us go to the challenge. Oh, like so. Oh, so there's literally one right there. Oh, it's what? Oh, okay. Wait, what? Oh, that's for c completing the quest. Off we go. Okay, there's Mona. Is this one? Mona? Oh, hello. I guess you come here to talk about everything that's going on. Oh, astrology? Aha, the supreme wisdom that connects the starry sky and the world below has revealed the future. These locations will be struck by stars falling from the sky. Uh, precisely as the prophecy of Picatrix foresaw. What? Okay, so there's the four, the first four there. Oh, we need resin for this. Well, good thing we didn't... We didn't use any of our resin up. So, are there other places like this? I guess this is the first four. Alright. We'll teleport over there. Oh, I also... Um, uh, I'm almost finished... Uh, I'm almost finished making a... Um, a thumbnail for the Blender streams. Um, I just can't find the right color to combine them with. So hopefully, hopefully I fig I'll figure that out and like put it on the thumbnails, and we can start making more streams there. There we go. Oh no, 65. We could do a 55 one. Does it matter? We'll do a 55. I know we can do that. Oh, no, wait. I forgot to choose the characters. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, yeah, then go like that. Okay, what? Oh, no. This is going to be hard. I keep forgetting that ice makes us slow. What the heck? Adventure uh, time. This. Okay, we healed up. Adventure time. I get back. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Come, summer night from... I must leave no stone unturned. 
Okay, we're, we're close. Got a bit worried there. There we go. Yes. Okay, so this is pretty difficult. I'm gonna switch out uh, the guys we have. Uh, let's see. So we have another one over here. Does it tell us who we're gonna fight? I know that there's specific characters that are like good for fighting these. Uh, I guess it's just random then. How the heck are we gonna do this? Let me see the quest. Uh... Right. And guidelines, so... Tart. Noel's pretty strong. Fish is strong. We can use Elisa. Also use Chowling. Okay, we'll use... What do we have? We have Venti. Venti... I'm pretty sure we can do something better than Venti. Ah, uh, but he is... Oh no, we have Fish for a bow. Ah, uh, but Pre Venti's pretty strong though. I'll switch... Let's see, let's see. I'll switch... Okay, I'll switch uh, Venti out for. Good things come to those who don't wait around. That's what they say, anyway. I think Noel. Yeah, that sounds good. Instead. I can't wait any longer. The opposite. Can we upgrade Shelly? Yeah, we can. One and one more. Two. Forty-five. It's probably true for me. Fifty-five. All right. Here we go. The reason why we're gonna use Venti. Oh jeez, there's so many of them. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. Oh no. Oh. What the heck? Oh, this ice. Okay, I can do one of these. Oh. There we go. Nice. Okay, we can do those. What <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, Gerard. Jeez. I can't believe that his, like, the Chili Trill's name is now just Gerard. I reached over 30 earlier and my world level increased to level 3. And it was literally while I was fighting the monsters and, like, I could feel the suddenly becoming harder. <laughs> no. I'm telling you, gee, he's like... Uh, but I thought I thought the world level only changed when you go to cat. This is gonna be weird, man. I don't want them to increase, f like further on, down the road. Okay, we'll skip these guys. I don't have a place to recharge, but I think we're okay. We have Bendith with us. Oh, Shaolin's pretty strong too. I keep forgetting to use her, like. Uh, to use Baba for the fire thing. Also, it's like five in the morning. As much as I would like to stay, I have to go to sleep. See you next time. Send you the sketch for both. Gotcha. All right. I'll see you, Nick. Take care. Okay. Go to bed. <laughs>
All right, we can do 55 here. Another oh, golden crab. Go. Oh, just like that. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Oh, jeez. I should have went to a higher level if this was the case. There we go. Uh. <laughs> Whoa, it's the sun, it's rising. Oh no, Nick, go to sleep. <laughs> Take care, Nick, okay? Go to sleep. You're gonna have uh, bags under your eyes in no time, though, if you keep doing this. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sun. <laughs> it's just. Jeez. Alright, where are we heading? Adventure time. I think we can just make it going this way. <laughs> Nick says hello there. We also have this shrine. Yeah! That we might just activate just cause. Off we go! Also got this chest. I got to hear Drew Jared. Jeez. Really? Get out of here. Oh, there's a Geo Oculus over here. Uh, do not want to get involved. Where are you? Right here. Then... Oh, <laughs> some eggs. Yeah, we won't take those. Get the heck out of here. <laughs> Wait, it sat down! I didn't know they could do that! Shelling's pretty strong, but she's not doing much damage as we're doing here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> he got us! He got us! Oh, there we go. Oh! <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna eat now. Okay, I think Nick is gone now. See you next time, Nick. Off we go. Um, oh, we'll leave that guy to the shrine there. Look, he's just visit. He's just, just visiting, like, like a tombstone. We don't want to bother him. Oh. Oh, we'll do that later. I saw a G Oculus up there, though. I want to get that. Yo. Okay, where the heck was it? It was this way. Is that right? Where was it? Was it? Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, where are you? Up there? Oh. Down there. <laughs> Another test subject. How <laughs> oh, do we get down there? 
Excuse me. Is there like a underground area? I don't think it'll beat that bay. Where the heck? Maybe I missed somewhere. Something over here. Oh, it's this. Oh, hello. How are you doing? And we'll go down here. Ah, oh, look. Let's see, gate here. All right, what what do we get? This. Uh, we go. Oh, oh, so much loot. All right. Off we go. What's this? One letter. I guess this is where the greed gets you. When you want it all and you don't know when to stop. If I just called it a day, I would have found buried treasure and hadn't insisted on going to the stupid wishy-washy bonfire. I never would have triggered the mechanism and got myself trapped here by the awful monster. Now I can't get out. And anyone who got what it takes to take him down, go and make a wish at the at that bonfire. And the old thing will do. I'll help you I'll help you by uh rooting for you. Heh. <laughs> What? There's a map on the back of this letter. Uh, let's check out this place. There might be treasures? Well, this is. But a campfire that can fulfill wishes. Even Paimon knows that such a thing doesn't exist. We got this. Is that a thing? Wait, hold on. Transport, sharing not your treasures. Yeah, it's a thing. Is it close? It's close by. Oh, it's that way though. All right, we'll keep that one for next time. First, we gotta we'll do this. See, see where that leads to. So apparently some characters are stronger than usual for these fights. I hope those guys don't get involved. You know what, we're gonna 
just go take care of them right now. I don't want them to bother us while we're doing this. There you go. Alright. We will do this then. Yeah, we'll do 55. Like, I get it, we could do that, but... Oh, jeez. What's going on? Okay, we got that guy. Whoa! Okay, we got that guy. Oh. I hate when they go outside. Oh, Venti, get out of there. Get this guy! <laughs> oh no! This is bad. Adventure time. Just what is it? Two more guys? There we go. Uh, come on. Come on. Uh. Okay. That's still hurting. Is that it? Yeah, we got all four. What do we do now? Let's go to events. Maybe it might tell us something there. It's four out of five. We have more? Good thing they put Mona somewhere we can just teleport to. Otherwise, like, it have been a pain coming back here over and over again. What now? Jeez. Where? Oh, that's it? Okay. <laughs> He's just <laughs> blocking her way, like, oh, hello. I guess you come here to talk about everything that's going on. Yes, the astrology. All right, she's saying the same thing. It is. You get tricks. Oh, they're in the same place. Uh, okay, I guess. I mean, we'll... Is it just going to be the same? It, it, it might just be the same thing. Yeah. Right, so probably nothing new is gonna happen. Uh, let's see. We'll, we'll do one more, and we'll get the first. Uh, we'll get the first prize, and let's see if that takes us anywhere. Uh, 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 otherwise, then it's just gonna be um, a, a thing you have to do multiple times anyway. Oh, this brought us here to this treasure chest. Bunk. I don't think you guys have to watch all of that. Oh! Right oh, over there. Oh, jeez. Everybody, stand back! Time for takeoff. Send these guys flying. Yeah, yeah. Nice and spicy. Set Baba there. Baba is just like a tiny turret, really. 
Look at that, he's doing so much work there. Why do they never miss? Ah. Okay, we'll heal up here. I swear Baba's the best. Look at him go! Get him, Baba! Okay. Let's see how things are going. Alright, we finished that one. And we can we can collect this. Right? Okay, that's five. Okay, so... Yeah, okay. Salvage them. So she'll just tell us what to do. These are the stuff that we can do. We might be able to do this in multiplayer, so that'll be interesting to actually try to do as well. Alright, so we can do it multiple times, but I guess... Uh, you know, you have to have uh, your characters leveled up and everything. And then we don't get anything special for the rest of it, I'm guessing. Too bad we can't do the higher level version of it, though. We might have been able to get everything here. But it's off by five points. Yeah. All right. And I guess we'll just end it here, then, if that's all the story there is. All right, so... Thanks, thanks again, guys, uh, for watching. Make, maybe make making it all the way to the end. Uh, thank you, Nick, for always joining as well. Um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, and leave a comment for us, because that really helps us. Um, and by us, I mean uh, probably me and Angie too. Angie needs any Angie needs some conversations. Ah! She's just picking fights online now. <laughs> 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 so if we can uh, make your pick fights uh, over there in the comment section below I think that's a place to start um, <laughs> if you're watching this on Twitch follow us please please I beg you please <laughs> uh, if you're on YouTube I left a link in the description to go to Twitch and if you're on Twitch in our about section you can find our uh, YouTube link we don't have a YouTube uh, special YouTube URL yet, but I'm pretty sure at some point we're, we're going to make it there. Uh, but again, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>